Hello happy friends, are you ready to learn? I'm Sarah and today we're going to go over everything we know about cells with a Q&A game. Let's start. Which one of these living things is composed by cells? Plants and animals? Plankton? Or all living things? Of course, all living things. Let's get to know a little more. Cells are the smallest parts in living things. And we are all composed by cells. Some only have a single cell and we call them unicellular. For example, some bacteria. Others have many cells and we call them multicellular, like animals or plants. By the way, did you know human beings have hundreds of billions of cells? Wow, interesting. We do have cells indeed. Now let's head to the next question, although this one is a little bit tougher. Which one is the most important part of the cell? The membrane, the nucleus or the cytoplasm? So the most important part is the nucleus, but there are many other parts that are also very important. Let's get to know a little more about them. In these images, you can see a cell and its most important parts. But you need to know that the nucleus is the most important organelle of all. And that's why we make it stand out from the rest. The nucleus is a brain in a cell and it controls its functions. Within it, there are genes which transmit the hereditary characteristics from parent to offspring. These crocodile babies look very similar to their parents because of genes. The truth is, when they're babies, they're so cute, but when they grow up, not so much. Well, have you been paying attention to the explanation and observed the diagram properly? Yes? Well, then you're going to find this next question very easy. What can we find in the cytoplasm? Is it the cell wall, the membrane, the organelle or bacteria? Of course, the organelle. Let's take another look at the diagram to learn a little more. The cytoplasm, what a weird word, is a liquid substance which is found between the membrane and the nucleus. And here in the cytoplasm, we can find the organelle. The organelle are different between themselves and each one has a distinct function. Some, for example, are in charge of digesting food and others of eliminating waste. That's so cool. I love learning new things. And as I'll always say, the most important thing isn't that you've answered all the questions correctly, but rather that you've learnt lots of things and that you always want to learn more. Goodbye, happy friends. See you next time and I hope you're always ready to learn. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to Happy Learning TV. Goodbye.